here's the next subject. Um, I've grown to hate and despise. I don't really hate any. My dog's licking my legs and my feet. I love my dog, but her slimy little tongue, it's just not really as does it for me on my legs and my toes. She's a good dog, dedicated as hell. But anyways, I digress. I've grown to despise the terms Web3 and NFTs <laughs> because they've become bastardized um, before they even got started. It's, they're not anything like the, what their intention was. The Web3, from my understanding, from Tim Berners-Lee, oh, the guy that invented the internet, not, not Al Gore, but uh, they... He, he intended Web3 to be a way for an individual to re, to regain their sovereignty, their freedom, both on the internet and in real life, but it is, or to mimic real life. The idea is that, I understand, you know, the cryptocurrency part of it is blockchain, and it's a must. But the problem is that people put so much emphasis on the currency part of it and try to use it to make a quick buck. Um, like the NFTs, you know, people buying NFTs, hundreds of thousands of dollars for an NFT. You're not helping the cause. NFTs are not an investment. Um, you should look at NFTs as a way to prove ownership of a digital file. Whether it's a music NFT, a JPEG, PNG, an MP4. It's digitally signed. That means there's only one like it. You hear these people argue the old argument, you know, well, I can download any JPEG off the internet. Yeah, you can. You can also go out and get a free copy of the Mona Lisa, too. But it's not the real Mona Lisa, now, is it? Um, that's, that's the purpose of NFTs. They're not investments. They're not stocks. Stop treating them like they are, because you're making them worth less. Um... The whole Web3 terminology is old because already because every week on Twitter there's a brand new first of its kind social media blockchain that's going to change the world. All you got to do is invest, you know, $100 on the cryptocurrency blockchain that it, that it uses. Sorry, you're about five years too late. I've been around forever for five years and... Yeah, <laughs> you ain't going to touch it. Um, but the, the thing is about Web3 that people need to understand. Web3 is not a bunch of websites that are de decentralized because you've got the decentralized uh, uh, Fediverse already. Um, you've got... It, Email is decentralized. Freaking everything's decentralized already. Okay, but the thing is, Web3 is not the internet itself being decentralized. Web3 is the user being decentralized. Um, whether you're on Hive, or whether you use something else. Like D-Buzz on my birthday on Friday. 
June 10th, is releasing ceramics accounts with MetaMask. So that's going to fuse Hive and MetaMask together, and you can... I don't know what it's going to do. Honestly, I don't. I, I'm not that kind of a technical guy, but all I know is that if I can have my user, my identity split into several different blockchains or cryptocurrency, whatever you want to freaking call it, that means that I'm decentralized. That's the key for Web3 is the user to be decentralized and to own your account. You own your stuff. You're not renting it. You're not trading your personal information to some big mega corporation like Google or Apple or whatever. You're not giving that away so that you can get free shit. Your, your identity is worth something. So you should have a voice in voting and stuff. And I'm rambling. I'm tired. But you get the point. The user was never meant to be the product. I mean, I'm, on Web3, you are your product. You need to look at it as a business. As you look at yourself, your identity as a business. Your opinion is worth something. Your vote is worth something. Your voice is worth something. And you shouldn't be trading your personal information or letting some company create a big, huge profile on you that will, so that they can cater ads to you. Advertising is done. Advertising is not the future. And what we did with the internet was that we let those advertisers and the, that money fuel the internet. And now we have an internet that is based on making money through advertising. And they turn the users into products to sell to the advertisers. And that's not the way it should be. Uh, that's all I got to say. I mean, we're not. I had that great quote. And I can't remember what it was now. But anyways, yeah, there you have it. We'll see you guys again next time when I'm more awake. Yeah, I'm going to re review this thing that I just installed it's totally badass for linux i'm not usually a linux review kind of guy but this needs to be done so here we go we'll talk at you guys later be good be safe never stick a finger where you wouldn't stick your face <laughs> <laughs>